Here's Charles thing. Oliveira, yeah. Islam Makachev. So here's the thing. I love Charles Oliveira for a thousand reasons. I love that he something happened when his daughter was born. He decided he was going to be a champion. I don't know what happened. I love that he can't see without his glasses. <laughs> I love He was that. eight and eight, right? He was eight. He's it's, been it's, in the UFC it's, since he was 20. It's unreal. His striking is so on point and so accurate. Okay. okay. You fuck up with him. You're, you're, in you're deep building trouble. him up to tear him down. Right. Keep going. His That's what you're doing. I see what you're doing. I can see it from here. I can see it from here. It's so sneaky. It's crazy. Well, don't say sneaky, but also, he's also the most decorated, one of the most submission bonuses of all time in the UFC. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah. Keep he going. He makes it look, you're like, oh my God. Now, look at his resume. Look at his last four opponents. Well, he, look how active he, he is as a champion. Michael Chandler. He beat Justin Gaethje, Gaethje. Dustin Poirier. It's Tony Ferguson. It's unfucking real Kevin Lee. Killers. Like prime Kevin Lee. Like killers. 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 Um, and, and, and I really do appreciate that. Now, we got one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. The only guy who I think, I mean, Jose Aldo had 12 wins. That's 11 wins in a row. That's unbelievable. That's such a crazy win streak. Now, go ahead and cut his legs from the room. I know what you're doing. You're trying to play pussy. I'm just, hey, you reek. No, yeah, yeah. no, you lost your dick, right? No, lost your dick. No. And now you're trying to, cut no, no, dude. Now you're trying to make sure nobody gets no, mad at I you. I just don't know how to bet against the Dagestani who gets you on the ground and just rains elbows and you're not able to stand up against him. I don't know how you stand up against Islam Makachev mm -hmm. because I would probably say in many ways he's Khabib 2.0. Not true. I'll keep, keep and going. And his striking is actually speed. very, very good. Uh, really? Cool. Let me ask you this. Who's the best guy he's beat? Well, let's take a let's pull up his record. Hey B, hold on. Hey B, when you say and this, I'm just playing devil's advocate. No, I here. understand. Hey I B, understand. when you say Bobby Green, uh, Dan I, Hooker, oof. but so compare that to Charles Oliveira. The, you, when you strength of schedule, one's Florida <laughs> I International, I the want other's Alabama. Charles Oliveira. No, you don't. I want him to win. Hey B, let me just ask you this. But I can't hold on B, put let my me ask you this. Let me ask you this. When I asked you earlier, and I, I I've done this to people that know the game too. Yeah. When I asked you earlier. Why Mark, Markachev, right? Yeah. And then I say, tell me the best guy he's beat. You can't. A lot of this, I think, this narrative, he's the best. It's from this. Khabib? No, it's not even from, it's, it's just, and maybe he is that good. Yeah. A lot of it's hype. There's been, no, he's not proven yet. Well, he's only facet. lost once in that entire, that's a lot, that's a good run right there. But I, I go back to who has he beat. When we're talking about tip of the spear. Yeah. Look at Dustin Poirier's resume. Look at Justin yeah. Gaethje's. Islam has the weakest strength of schedule. Well, he was supposed to fight RDA, who has the hardest schedule of all time in the UFC. Right. He, and th that fell out, so that's why he fought Bobby Green on short notice. I think what's going to happen. But all I'm saying is I yeah. think a lot of people's perspectives are skewed because the coach, who's one of the best of all time, goes, he's the best lightweight of all time. You're like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Khabib, yep, he's the best of all time. Josh Thompson, who I love and adore. Dude, I've never seen him lose around. Best, he's gonna, I, I'm going to quote Josh Thompson when he came to my show in San Jose. Yeah. You know, he, you know, he comes up to me. I go, yeah, show, whatever. Hey, real quick, tell me why Mark Jeff beats Charles Oliveira. He goes, dude, not only does he beat him, makes it look easy. He mops the floor with him. Yeah. I was like, you're out of your mind. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I agree because what happens. Why do you agree, though? Because That's all I'm asking with the people I'll, that I'll tell, tell me what, this. Because Charles Oliveira's jiu-jitsu is, you're going to hate this, but I want you to look me in the eye because you, got, you, got, you still got magic in mind eyes. Charles Oliveira's jiu-jitsu is no good here. Interesting. I know. And I know that hurts your feelings. But what's going to happen is Mr. Oliveira, I mean Mr. Makachev, is going to take him down, and he will take him down. Guarantee he gets taken down. He will take him down. Now, <clears throat> he's going to take him down, and he's going to hold him there. And just hold him. And he's either going to submit him. Oh, absolutely not. Crazy talk, right? You think he's going to pound him and then or he's naked. going to pound him over the course of 25 minutes 25 minutes yeah and that's a really hard and you thing think and and, and and you don't now think, and now hold on nope no 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 you no, you're not doing that no 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 nope, nope. can't no, take because you want to play both lanes i'm letting you you just ride with mock you fucking tears no the thing is though is you i mock i mock is gonna get him down multiple multiple times throughout this yeah. fight all good yeah you're talking about hold on yeah the most decorated the most dangerous fighter most finishes by submission yeah He's beat everybody. Yeah. The most dangerous of all time. Yeah. 
doesn't work again. But you're in there for 25 minutes. You say it doesn't work. Yeah. My question for you is, how do you know? I, Are I, you I, saying Bobby Green or Hooker is as dangerous as a Charles Oliveira? Name no, one no, fighter no, that no, he's fought not, as dangerous. Definitely not. But give me one guy who's as dangerous. So, so, so I would say that the idea is if Charles Oliveira can stand up continually and then frustrate Makachev's takedown game, okay? Big if. Big fucking if. Because you think Macho's going to come in and take him down every time? <laughs> well, I don't know that anybody in practice. I think what Josh Thompson is looking at is saying, when you he gets you down in practice, and it doesn't matter who you are, you ain't getting up. You're talking about practice. You're talking about you're practice. Talking about practice. Now, I not, don't care about practice. And you're not talking about fighting a champion. Champions find a way to win, but what else does a champion have? What's the one caveat here? What's the one kind of key heel with Mike? Well, Chav? the champion has it? experience. He's there got, you go. He's got, and, he's got, and, he, doesn't, he doesn't fold under and, pressure. And what did Mike say when he was his first headlining event and he had to do all that press? And he's like, oh, I'm so sick of doing this. Yeah. He doesn't like the attention. Yeah. He hasn't shown his full potential. Yeah. Everyone goes, you haven't seen anything. He hasn't shown his full potential. Right. He's not used to all the attention. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's, this is going to be the most attention you're ever going to get. I mean, after if you win, you can get more, but yeah. this is going to be the biggest spotlight you've ever had. Yeah. Charles Oliveira thrives in he that. Thrives. And you're in there for 25 minutes yeah. against the most dangerous human being that we have on the planet, 155 pounds. You've got- Documented. Yeah, you've got Jesus versus Allah in this. And by the way- You went religious, that's well, fine. both believe in one God. Yep. That's all I'm saying. That's fine. All right? But I'm saying that, I'm saying that um, I- I I think the only thing that Charles Oliveira can do here is to stand up and continue to stand up. So Makachev says, you don't think right, you can I'm submit him. stand and bang. You don't think you can submit him? Uh, submit Makachev? Mm -hmm. not, not in a million years. Probably. Interesting. Yeah. You, you can't submit the Dagestanis. Not, the, not, mm. not at this level. I disagree. Not at this level. They're too, I disagree. They're too familiar with the game. Mm -mm. A lot of guys. They're familiar with traditional jiu-jitsu. No, no, no. But no, no it's, it's the way they control your head and hips. And he's going to control your head and hips, and he's going to keep you pinned to the ground. You know, Where are you like a sweater? You know you fucked up, right? Because th this is where Charles Oliveira fucking thrives yeah. in the transitions. So when Makhchev's coming in to get lock in that takedown, yeah. you worry about your arm, your neck. When he gets up, you reshoot. Better worry about that neck. It's coming from angles you haven't seen, positions you haven't seen. You think you're safe. You're talking about... Oliveira. Ol Oliveira. You're shooting in, you're going to pay a price. Mm. Oh, and then you got knees and elbows, which so. he's pretty good at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pretty good at. No, I wish I. And then on the. Feet, I wish you were right. And then, about and then this. on the feet. Then on the feet. I know. You're telling me Makachev is dangerous on the on feet. On the feet, Makachev has his hands full. Makachev cannot oh, his tip stand is and over, bang. He can't stand. His and cup bang is all Charles. the way full on yeah, the feet. Yeah, he can't stand and bang. He can't stand and bang. But, but the Oliveira likes to close up, close that distance, throw those elbows, throw those knees. But when you throw a knee, if it doesn't connect, now you're, you're in down. his wheelhouse. You know who doesn't give a fuck about being taken down? Charles Oliveira. Yeah. Here's the other thing about Charles Oliveira, which is kind of scary. Juan, let me just, the, the, this yeah. is what's scary. Yeah. Charles Oliveira has taken some shots. Think about Michael yes, Chandler, that first round, oh, could, yeah. could be 10-8. Oh, yeah. Chandler was three seconds away from finishing that thing. Yeah. Charles Oliveira fights back, beats him in the second Champion. round. Champion. Champion. Justin Gaethje, Dustin Poirier. Champion. But, champion, but here's the thing. Not only is he a champion, name another champion who takes risk and fights that it's exciting style. Agre agreed. But that's also why he's so dangerous. Agreed. Makhchev's not dangerous. Agreed. Makhchev, this, this is what could happen. Yeah. If, if you're right and he's taking him down, wearing him like a sweater, you're getting a boring 25 minutes. Probably. And Makhchev doesn't give a shit. He so I think Makhchev. He just whatever it takes to get the belt. He, here's the problem. If you said Charles Oliveira works on standing up, Charles Oliveira is just, you take him down, he stands right the fuck up. Like a Peter Yan or something. I don't know. He doesn't do that. He, he goes for your neck. He stays on his back and he's going to try to get you with his jujitsu. You're not doing that with a guy like Islam Makachev because he's just in too guard? much of a nightmare. In guard? Even in guard, it doesn't matter. I don't think anything matters to Makachev in that street. I don't think there's anything Charles Oliveira is throwing at Makachev. Either he hasn't seen or oh, he's disagree. not shutting oh, down immediately. I disagree. His, Especially his in transition. Especially in transition. And again, a lot, and I, I get it. A lot of it, but a lot of this is what people have told you. Well, yeah, I've seen him, and I know he's... Look, here's the thing. Who, who have you seen him against? A well, guy well, like Charles well, Oliveira, I might, though. Be, I might be clouded by the idea that we his all training are, partner... We all are. His training partner for a long time was Khabib. Mm -hmm. And so when I see that, and I go, your training partner was Khabib, now your coach or your coach for a long time was Khabib. Mm -hmm. I watch Khabib shut everyone down. So I go... I go and apparently he's tougher than Khabib. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Let me ask you this. Khabib in his prime versus Charles Oliveira in his prime. Charles Oliveira is a nightmare of a matchup for Khabib. Name the best jiu-jitsu guy Khabib beat. The most dangerous. Bring up his resume. And this is the argument where Khabib's not the greatest 155 of all time. I, I don't you, believe that either. When did you feel you like Khabib no. became legit? Like, like, what opponent did you watch where you're like, now I feel like the oh, hype is real? Or do you feel like no, the hype er, is never real? No, early on. He was yeah. legit when Wait, he fucking six, ragged six, all so you home don't, You don't consider him the greatest 55 No, because he didn't do it long enough. Charles Oliveira in his prime versus Khabib in his prime, that's a fight. If, if, if Charles Oliveira wins this fight, hate to tell everybody out there, he's the best lightweight of all time. Okay. Hands down. Oh, yeah, I would agree Love to hear a fucking argument. I'd agree with that. He's fought everybody. He's fought everybody. And beat and them. Monsters. Hold on. Not by decision. Yeah. Finished them. Correct. Monster. Again, again, and I love Khabib. He's fucking fantastic. But you can't be the best of all time with that resume. Charles Oliver's resume is light years better. A lot of those guys were not wrestlers. They, no. They, they were strikers, and he got you down, tied your legs up, and just started pounding on you. Yep. So, yeah, that's a good point. Did I sway you a tad or no? Do you want to Look, bet on I'm this? I'm very excited on it. about now, it. But here's the thing. Yes. Here's the, oh, hey, yeah. hey, here's the thing. With all this, yeah. you're probably right. There's a reason why Vegas has those well, odds. Well, I hate being there's right a reason. There's a reason. Because Vegas is going, all right, Machev takes zero. So you know Machev got knocked out early in his career in the UFC. Yes. He got knocked out. Yes. Since then, he takes zero risk. Right. So the money line on that makes sense because, all right, the, this guy's going to take zero risk. He's just going to – and he's the wrestler. That's the money. Yeah. I'm banking on 25 minutes, the most dangerous man to ever enter that octagon, and his confidence – and if this validates to me the best of all time, ooh, it's hard to bet against. Makachev, if my, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's one of those things like if you said Makachev gets knocked out in the first round because he's a little hesitant, it's all the, you know, and everything else. It's too smart to but, get knocked yeah. out in the first. But um, I, I have to bet. I have to bet That's against Charles bet. Oliveira. Yeah. I'm sorry. I no, have to take fine. the bet. What do you want to bet? I don't know. We already have five time. grand on uh, Izzy and <laughs> And Piera. And yeah. that's soon, too. Yeah. Two grand? Two grand. Solid handshake, dude. It's a good handshake. Now I want to be. I want to be very clear. Now, yeah. notice I'm being cool. No. I'm not asking for odds. You're taking the favorite here. You should win this bet. What do you want to do? I'm saying the bet. You know what it should be? If Makhachev wins, you get one k. Feel aggressive right now, so be careful. <laughs> That's fine. Whatever you want to do. Um, I th it's be, let's be fair here because you are taking the big favorite. He okay. should win. Well, I'm pulling. Makhachev. If Makhachev wins, you get a thousand. If Charles Oliveira wins, I get two grand. But Charles Oliveira has to win via uh, finish. Okay, I like that. Right. I like those odds. Yeah. 